I thought the other moment of the game that was incredible to watch was the one in which Andy Reid was on the sidelines and, and Travis Kelsey came over and bumped him. And basically, we know now that he said, put me in, I can score. And this is after the Isaiah Pacheco fumble, right? But how often have you seen a player get into a coach's face to that degree? And I say that again, being a lifelong Patriots fan and having seen Tom Brady storming up and down the sidelines, screaming at players, screaming at players. But this time, it's Travis Kelsey screaming at Andy Reid. I had absolutely no problem with that whatsoever for many reasons. I've shared this before with you. I'm going to share it again. This is a game of, played with passion and played with emotion. And fans want players on their teams to play with passion and emotion. You can't turn that off on a moment's notice. I had no problem with what Kelsey did. Clearly, Andy's comments after the game reflect that he had no problem with what Kelsey did. I loved it, in fact. He wanted to contribute. He wanted to win. I have zero problem with that. You asked me how often I saw that. I saw that sort of thing a lot. Not with the bump, but with coaches and players yelling on the sideline. The difference was they weren't captured on television for, you know, 200 million people to see. But I saw that sort of passion on the sideline. I was passionate like that, and I wasn't a player, but I went crazy passionate during games. And for those of you who missed it, obviously, Andy Reid, after uh, the game, did say that he got taken off guard because he has a new artificial hip, and I don't think that he didn't feel it at all that Travis Kelsey meant to bump him, but that he just got caught off balance, which could have been the case. And Travis Kelsey did say that he owes his entire career to Andy Reid, and, and it's clear by the relationship that these two have um, that – Andy Reid is, you know, he's built this offense around having this incredible, uh, this incredible tight end, and 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 again, the, everyone is talking about. So that we'll find a way to differentiate, trying to talk about Brady and Mahomes as the goat. But I look at the tight ends, and I just think of Gronkowski, and I think that as we talk about Travis Kelsey being the same age as Rob Gronkowski and having these two offenses have this relationship with these tight end quarterback, this tandem, and you can't help just wonder. It's so funny. Um, you know, I covered three peats with the NBA, mm -hmm. with the Lakers, you know, with two three peats. And this hasn't happened before in football. You have to wonder if Kelsey resists the siren song of maybe going to TV. Obviously, his brother is already retired. He said he's back. He said, he he's, said he's back. I know. We, you're right. It, you're right. It can right. change. You're right. And of course, Jason Kelsey hasn't officially retired. But, but you have to wonder if we are looking at possibly the first three peat in NFL history. Uh, and and we don't know. And you're you're absolutely right. People can say I'm coming back, and they may change their mind. People can say I'm not coming back, and they can change their mind. So you're absolutely right in that regard. Um, it most people focus on MVP on the offensive side of the ball. We just saw two magnificent defensive plays, and I love a defensive struggle. Check out new episodes of What the Football with Susie Schuster and Amy Trask every Tuesday. Watch us on the Rich Eisen Show YouTube page or follow and listen wherever you get your podcasts.